I cleaned up this hall with some styrene. Um, the styrene does a really nice job. Some re for some reason, you know, some kind of chemical magic. And I scraped up these um, where the where the plastic split. I ran a scraper down through to just sort of clean up. I don't know if it shows that well. Ah, that looks pretty good. You can see where I missed my mark with the scraper a couple times. I put a good size. That's a miss, you know, and I, there's another miss, but no big deal. The, the split is right in that edge, that corner. There's another one on this side of that groove. Okay, a couple days later, this uh, epoxy patch here is it's fully cured, so you have to give it a, uh, a wipe down with a wet, with water. Uh, on the surface of pure, um, fully cured epoxy develops a, uh, a coating, a waxy coating called an amine blush. Well, if you want to put another coat down, you gotta you gotta wash that off. You won't get a solid. You won't get a solid connection, layer to layer, you know. And I'm gonna hit that with some sandpaper to scuff it up a little bit. epoxy application it didn't stick at all it was just terrible so I chipped it off and then sanded so now I'm gonna flame treat what I forgot to do previously was flame treat and that could have been the problem so here it goes so it looks like hit it with the flame but don't catch anything on fire Okay, and now we'll try uh, the epoxy's mixed up. We'll try. We'll try it again. Okay, there it is. New epoxy down into the into the cracks. We'll see how that goes. Okay, Buster. You want to get in the truck? You want to get in the truck, buddy? Are you snoozing? Why don't we get in the truck? We can go to the dog park. Alright buddy. Let's go. Woo! Alright. Zero to hero in about five seconds. I don't know. Maybe eight seconds. You ready to get in the truck? I'm ready, you ready? You ready to get in the truck? Okay, Buster, let's get in the truck. Yeah. <laughs> let's get in the truck. Oh, yeah. 